Hi, my name is Tara Toy, and today I sat the Leaving Cert High Level Math Paper 1. This exam largely consisted of one topic, which was calculus and especially differentiation. Uh, we've seen this come up uh, question after question. This exam wasn't extremely difficult. It was a nice paper one to start uh, with. And I think maybe paper two might pick up on the difficulty where paper one maybe didn't. Um, but overall, I think this was a nice paper and I am happy enough with how it went for me today. Hello everyone. I have the first half of my maths examinations complete and I could not be happier. The paper really went in my favour. There was a lot of calculus, integration and differentiation which appeared, which I'm so lucky is a strong point of mine. I definitely did notice that having the changes to the papers this year made a huge impact on how well I did on the paper and I would not have done it as well if I did not have the changes. I did notice that and I have so much respect for everyone that has sat that exam in the original format in previous years. Now, uh, having the option of four questions in the, in the first section really helped me ground myself when I went into the exam at first and I was able to calm my nerves and focus on my strengths, which I am lucky enough to be calculus. And I was also so delighted to see a complex numbers question appear on the paper. All in all, I am delighted with how today went, despite my slight hiccup this morning of almost losing my math set, which I did not need in the end. Hi everyone. So these are my thoughts on maths paper one high level. I was quite surprised at this paper after sitting it a couple of hours ago. I was not expecting there to be so much calculus and integration. I thought there would be um, a financial maths question, for example, or like a proof by induction question somewhere on there, but there wasn't, which I'm sure shocked um, a couple of other students. But I quite enjoy differentiation and integration, so I didn't find it too bad that there was a lot of differentiation and integration on the paper. Um, and yeah, I hope most students found it OK as well. I feel like maybe this year, because of COVID and everything, they made it a little bit easier, which was nice. But then again, there was some challenges to it as well. But overall, I'm feeling pretty happy about it and I hope paper two will be good as well. Hi everyone, Laura here and I've just come out of the geography and maths exam today. So I'm pretty tired, <laughs> to be honest, and overall my impressions of the geography exam are not too bad. Um, I think there was a lot of mixed responses, especially in the media, about the geography exam. And I think some of the questions were definitely like more challenging than they are usually. And I think that's because of the choice. But overall, I think there was a bit of everything in the paper, which was quite nice. Um, the short questions were pretty accessible, I think. Some of them were challenging, but I suppose there's always a challenge in the short questions anyway. And then in terms of the long questions, personally, I picked question three in the physical geography, and that one was pretty good. And then I also did two geoecology essays. I suppose we had the advantage of doing two essays from, well, two questions from one section this year, which was really nice. And overall, I'm feeling not too bad about the geography paper, and I'm very happy that it's done now.